How to program your brain for weight loss. To meditate is to defrag your mind. Meditate to organize your thoughts, increase your performance, and unlock your true potential. Also, you can use meditation and mindfulness to get rid of that belly fat and to finally win the struggle against weight once and for all, for all time. Because it's about making up your mind and changing your lifestyle. And with this video, it's going to help you do just that. Just a quick primer on using mindfulness. Using mindfulness and CTB, it's possible for us to change the way we react to stressful events and essentially reprogram our stress response. Like we can use this to improve our happiness, to get to sleep more easily, and much more. But when we do all this, what we're really doing is affecting the chemistry of our brains. We're changing the neurochemicals in our brain and that in turn is changing the way we feel and even the way we perform. This is why it can be a good idea to learn more about what neurotransmitters really are and how they work. Once you do that, you'll have more idea of what it's you're actually doing to change your brain functions and in turn, this will make you more effective at it. Every time you are tempted to react in the same old way, Ask if you want to be a prisoner of the past or a pioneer of the future. Great words and great things to think about. You know, if it is to be, it is up to you and it's up to me. We control our destiny. We are the captains of our fate. And if you don't start to use your mind and thinking properly, you're never going to unshackle yourself from weight, obesity, diabetes, the potential to be an old person that can't get around, uh, the potential that a person that aged before their time. And now they're showing research that the fat around our waist can be one of the causes of cancer and Alzheimer's. So. If you want to be a, a healthy, older person one day, pay attention and start getting control of your mind. What are neurotransmitters? Your brain is made up of a large network of different cells called neurons. This network is sometimes called your connectome. And essentially, each of these cells represents a thought, an idea, a memory, or a sensation. As we think or experience the world around us, these cells fire by releasing an electrical signal like a circuit. That signal travels over the synapse, the gap between brain cells, and then allows them to create the rich experiences that we're familiar with in a kind of cascade. In terms of the way that a cell fires, it can either be on or off, kind of the way a computer works on. That is to say that they are in levels of firing. After a certain amount of excitation, a cell fires and then stops firing. But does that, that's not to say that the signal is entirely binary. Because at the same time, the brain also releases chemical called neurotransmitters, which color very aspects of the signal. This can alter how likely it is for the cell to fire again. It can straighten the connection between two cells, or it could make us feel happy or sad about that thing. To uncover your true potential, you must first find your own limits and then have the courage to blow past them. You know, up to now, you couldn't beat this thing obesity. You couldn't get over your struggle with weight. You couldn't find a way to not be so hungry all the time. Well, we've been telling you that it's sugar that's making you so hungry. That bagel in the morning, that cupcake uh, with coffee in the, in the coffee break. It's those little uh, carbohydrates that are causing you to fire in your brain these synapses that are causing you to eat things that you shouldn't because you don't understand that you have to control the blood sugars. That's the whole secret to this is controlling your blood sugars. And once you get to realize it, then you can start to control your mind and control your body. 
Your brain chemistry. Your brain is filled with neurotransmitters which affect receptors on brain cells and have a short lifespan. At the same time, hormones like testosterone and cortisol can also affect the brain in a similar way, acting like secondary neurotransmitters. These hormones and neurotransmitters are moderated largely by our thoughts. If we change which cells fire, we change which hormones and neurotransmitters get released. But it's much more complex than this. For starters, our hormones and neurotransmitters are tied closely to our lifestyle and various biological factors. When we're hungry, for instance, low blood sugar encourages the release of cortisol and the stress hormone, which is the stress hormone. This in turn encourages the release of gurglin, the hunger hormone. When we have high blood sugar, though, we release insulin and this increases the thiophan in the brain. That thiophan is converted to neuro, ne, ne, neurotin, which makes us feel good, and this later is converted to melatonin, the sleep hormone. The word was serotonin. You know that uh, thiophan we're going to be getting pretty soon in the Thanksgiving turkey. So it's the serotonin that wakes us up and the melatonin that puts us to sleep. Meditation and concentrations are the way to a life of serenity. You know, and what is serenity? But not struggling anymore with the biggest issues in your life, which is obesity, pre-diabetes, uh, crippling diseases, cancer, all the ills that obesity brings to you. So meditation and concentration is the way to a life of serenity, and it's serenity when you get control of your life. Weight loss biology. In short, our physical health is directly linked to our mental state and vice versa, putting us firmly at the mercy of our biology. But that said, using mindfulness, it is possible to gain control over this situation and to decide exactly how we want to feel and when. A mind is like a puzzle. You must lock, unlock it to read its hidden secrets. And the secret is in within you. It's in your mind. You know, the secret is between your two ears. If you put your mind to it and be mindful of what you're putting in your mouth, mindful that you're not exercising, mindful that you're letting yourself get stressed, mindful that you're getting depressed, that you're getting overwhelmed. You have to be mindful that you are in control of your life and you can change your life. And to help you with that, we're making available the power of mindfulness for weight loss. You can go to the SaturdayMorningDiet.com forward slash mindfulness for weight loss and get your copy of this wonderful product and we put three things together on this for a very low cost that it's a shame that you not pick it up watch for us on joanbars.com on youtube on our website joanbars.com we still have available the saturday morning diet ebooks training for weight loss and please, subscribe on our website, joanbars.com. Please share this video and information with everyone on your email list and get the word out. Help other people that you see struggling with obesity. Help them change their lives with this information. See you on the next video. Please share. Bye-bye.